How's it going guys? It's Billy from the Terrible Five here. And welcome to yet another tutorial on our second channel. So today we're going to be showing you how to do some pretty basic color grading in After Effects. Now what color grading is, is basically just um, putting layers of different things on top of your footage that change the way your footage looks and makes it a lot more stylized and stuff like that. And it actually Every single film, TV show, anything you see that's professionally done has been color graded. So not only that, but it'll make your film look a lot more professional. And um, if you're making like an apocalypse film, it'll make your it'll make your uh, film look a lot more um, the way you want it, the way, like a lot more stylized. It'll give it its own theme. So we're gonna be doing that today. So just take your footage and create a new composition with it in After Effects. Okay, so then go to about the middle part of your footage, or just a frame that you can see pretty well, like right there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer. And what an adjustment layer is, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a layer you put on top of your footage that changes the footage below it. As long as it's on top of your footage, it'll change whatever is under it. So it'll change the footage in this case. So we're going to go to Levels, just Color Correction Levels, and then drop it on there. And let's make sure this is set on RGB, which it should be. And then just, we're just going to bring these things up, and that'll darken it. Um, usually doing this will make it look better already. Bring the lights up just a little bit, and mid-tones probably down. Now, as you can see, by doing this already, it's already changed a lot and made the footage look a lot better. But you want to push it to the next step you can always go to your red channel or your green or your blue and do some changes there as well so you can just take some red out of it put some red into it um, same thing with the green take some out put it in and just make sure it looks natural rather than funky and weird and then blue should add that just to balance everything out a little. Mm. You can add maybe a little bit more blue with your midtones, because film um, feature films usually have a little bit more of a bluish look to them. And right there, we have a pretty good color grade. The blues are brought out a lot. The greens and the trees, and also the um, the darker colors and the shadows are made a lot darker. Now what we can do is we can go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and create another one. You can go to Tint. And this is uh, something you can use for if you're doing a black and white or you want to make it look a lot more stylized or like Western or post-apocalyptic. You can go into Tint and bring another Adjustment Layer and put it on Tint. And that may get black and white, but we're going to change that. Let's go to amounts of tint and go to about 50. I found that's pretty good right there, and you can always change it. The more toward 100 it is, is the more black and white it'll be, and the less, or sorry, the more toward zero it is, the less black and white it would be. So we can go to about 45 maybe. And then this is what it looked like before and after. So we made everything look a lot less bright and noticeable. Now one final thing we can do, which always adds a really good look to your film, um, is make a vignette. So make another adjustment layer and go to your effects and presets and go to curves. And bring curves on that top adjustment layer and just bring it down so it's pretty dark. Not too dark, but dark so you almost can't see the eyes of your actor. Now we're going to go to our tools and just select an ellipse, an ellipse mask and just make an ellipse like this. 
doesn't have to look great. It just has to be most of your frame. Let me shut that off. Now go to your mask and set it to subtract. And then go, um, go to your mask feather property by hitting MF. And you can feather it out about right there. And that made your vignette pretty easy and it makes it look really awesome. Just before your vignette and after. You can always go to the opacity of this top layer and change it to get rid of your vignette or put it in more. Depends really on what you're looking at um, in your film. So I'm going to take everything off here for a sec. So this is the footage before. We add our main color grade, our tint, and our vignette. And we get a really awesome finalized look. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Sorry if we took a little bit long. I just wanted to cover a lot of things and give you guys a lot of informative tips. So thanks for watching, thanks for being patient, and I hope this helped you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our main channel, The Terrible Five, and the second channel, The Terrible Five Two. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.